All right, check out this time lapse here from Boca Raton earlier. And you see some rain firing up there and then we'll see the sun come out just in time for the sunset. There it is. Not too bad. Pretty nice sunset out there for you. And did get a little bit of rain earlier in the day. Del Rey saw some uh, heavy downpours and then uh, things well got right back to it. Uh, a little earlier it ended. So uh, right now it's just clouds around. You see a little bit of rain started to push into uh, places farther south. You see this here, which uh, we have a little upper level low here. You see it's spinning, wrapped up in a weak tropical wave here that's just going to clip southern Florida here starting tonight, tomorrow. So we're going to see this moisture move on in. We're going to change our rain chances around a little bit and make them more in the morning tomorrow, maybe even pre dawn hours in the morning and then shift everything westward during the day. Right now temperatures are in the uh, 70s and low 80s lows tonight, uh, upper 70s, maybe near 80 right along the coast to the Palm Beach County coastline lows on the Treasure Coast mid 70s and tomorrow afternoon low to some mid 90s out there, depending on when you get the rain, low 90s for the uh, Palm Beach is more of a southeasterly flow here. Water temperatures are warm, but that it should help with the sea breeze pushing inland a little bit earlier there with the uh, heat. But we still do have the heat advisory uh, nonetheless for the heat indices being 105 to 110 there. So here's the pre dawn hours This is 5 a.m. and you see that uh, rain moving in from offshore into Palm Beach County, at least not so much the Treasure Coast yet, but Palm Beach County could see that little surge of moisture pre dawn. You could have some wet streets heading to work tomorrow morning by lunchtime, some rain around, but pushing a little bit farther inland and then by the afternoon pushing farther inland and then late in the day pushing westward and you see the coast dry here. This is time when normally we'd see the big blow up here, but this time with the onshore flow, everything pushing westward and then same with Thursday. You see a surge of moisture. This is the morning hours, pre dawn hours. Once again, seeing some of that rain move in before the morning rush. A bigger surge of moisture on Thursday, so bumped up rain chances there and then some drier air arriving with that Saharan dust by the end of the week and weekend. Drop storm Don still out here spinning around 40 mile per hour winds, barely hanging on here. It could actually strengthen as it moves over a little bit of warmer water, but then eventually it will become post tropical and then race off towards the east. Here's that Saharan dust. Let's track that moving on in uh, for Friday, Saturday, pretty thick on Saturday and even on Sunday too. So expect hazy skies out there. A little bit less rainfall too and real hot temperatures. Notice it thins out though. Uh, with not a big plume after that for a little bit. Uh, beach and boating forecast looking good out there. Just be aware of those storms. Those are going to contain lightning and gusty winds. So low 90s here next couple of days. But once we tone down the rain chances, boy, those high temperatures really go up over the weekend.